Hey guys, we're at this tiny, tiny little republic in Lithuania known as Zhupis. And I think it's actually one of the smallest republics in the entire world. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's less than one square kilometer. Yeah. And it's one of the tiniest republics in the entire world, though not officially recognized. It has become a source of real pride for the city of Vilnius and for everyone who lives here. So we're about to cross this river, Uzhupis or Uzhupis, means beyond the river, so that's where the name comes from. And their Independence Day is April 1st. April so, Fool's Day joke? <laughs> so we'll talk more about how this place came to be, but first we have to cross the bridge. This is the official sign telling you that you're about to enter Ujupis, and there's two kind of strange things that you don't normally see on a sign. One is a smiley face, and that means that you have to, by Ujupis law, smile while you're in the Republic, so keep that in mind. And also, there's the picture of the Mona Lisa, meaning that this is a place where art and artists and creativity is very valued. So, we'll take that with us and make our way over into Ujupis. No passports required. However, on April 1st, which like I said is their Independence Day, you can come when they have their big celebration and you do need to bring your passport. Well, you can bring your passport and get a little stamp as you cross the bridge. Ujupis might be small, but it has its own president, government, constitution, currency, even its own navy, which consists of three or four small boats that are mostly used for ceremonial purposes. For a while, they even had 10 men who declared they were the army. But we have actually already found, I think, the most famous resident citizen of Ujupis, and that is the mermaid. This is a sculpture done by an artist, and the citizens in Ujupis say that she is actually the one who lures people to Ujupis and they say that if you look into her eyes you will never want to leave here so proceed with caution with the mermaid. country really began as kind of an April Fool's joke that has now taken on a complete life of its own and grown and grown into what it is today. And one of the founding fathers, shall we say, said that when they were sitting around talking about this idea, they wanted to make a little country of no more than say 5,000 citizens because they believe that's the maximum number of faces that the human brain can recognize and remember. And the idea being that when you know everyone in your country, then you really can't be manipulated or cheat and everyone will get along better so make of that what you will and I also wanted to show you this statue because the mermaid of course is very famous but Jesus Backpacker needs to get a shout out. <laughs> if you've seen anyone who's visited Ujupis probably they have a selfie with Jesus the backpacker. The artist says that he believes that Jesus was the very first backpacker, and so now backpackers and lots of tourists who are visiting Vilnius, and then come to Ujupis, of course, because they're not the same thing, come and pay tribute to the first backpacker of them all. <laughs> This used to be one of the worst, toughest neighborhoods in all of Vilnius, and it was very cheap to live here. That's part of what drew so many artists here to take advantage of how cheap it was. Now, however, this is the most expensive real estate in the whole city. I just love how it's like an open air gallery everywhere you look. I know. <laughs> everywhere you look there's artwork, like on every single wall, little statues and sculptures and things pasted to trees and pianos, it's amazing. <laughs> it's all some surface for creativity. Totally. Love it. it. 
there's a little street here where you can find the constitution of Ujupis on more than 30 metal plaques lining this one wall. And it was written by two men over the course of about three hours on a summer afternoon. They had just declared themselves an independent republic. And one of them had a bath and while he was in the bath thought, you know what, we really should write down a constitution. So the two of them got together and in a few hours, probably with some drinks involved, I'm guessing once I read you some of the closets, <laughs> they came up with this constitution. The constitution has been translated into many languages, so we found the English one, and I have to read you some of what it says. Uh, some of them are quite lovely. You know, everyone has the right to love, everyone has the right to be happy. And then, because it was done by two different men, one a dog person and one a cat person, <laughs> these are some of my favorites. Everyone has the right to love and take care of the cat. Everyone has the right to look after the dog until one of them dies. A dog has the right to be a dog, very important. A cat is not obliged to love its owner, but must help in times of need. And perhaps the best one that must be observed, everyone has the right to die, but this is not an obligation. What's your favorite part of the Constitution? Um, I really like number 26. Everyone has the right to celebrate or not celebrate their birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I choose to celebrate. <laughs> the official flag of Ujupis has a hand on it with a hole in the middle, making the hand unable to accept bribes. And the idea is that they have nothing to hide here. We're now in the very center, the heart of this great nation with the symbol of Ajupis behind us, the angel of Ajupis up on this high pedestal in the center square here. And the word is that there was actually an egg on the top of this very tall pedestal for a long time. And people kept wondering, what, what is this? This is your symbol? What does this mean? And the officials of Ajupis kept saying, just wait, wait, just wait for it. And then one day, seemingly overnight, the egg disappeared and out popped this beautiful angel symbolizing growth and rebirth and creativity and trumpeting that anything goes here. So really a good symbol for this nation. I think this is one of my favorite micronations that I've ever <laughs> been to. <laughs> Only at one square kilometer, it packs a lot of punch. It does, it does. And I love that just the overall message here is to be free, be yourself, be creative. So good things to remember. Yes. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed looking around here too. Make sure you give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for lots more travel adventures and we'll see you in our next one. Bye. Bye.